Manchester United 2, Arsenal 3. Louis, talk to me. How are you feeling after that defeat? A bit frustrated, man, um, because I believe it could have been avoided, the loss. The same way against Palace, it could have been avoided. We just, we didn't push toward, uh, to the end, um, in which we should have done. I feel like we could have made changes sooner. Um, about, you know, for the last 20 minutes, I saw just honours and it's like, make a change, give them something to think about instead of getting pressured, pressured, pressured. So all in all, look, Arsenal are playing well and they're doing good and they're at the top of the table for a reason. They've got momentum and consistency, fair enough. But it could have been a different result. Definitely could have got a draw if we was more positive and not allowing them to just put the pressure on us. Talking about the first half, obviously, if the first half was 1-1, one, one, what do you think United got wrong coming out of the second half? Well, I think straight away in the second half, we had a, a glimpse of a chance. And then off the back of that, it was just Arsenal. And we didn't really find our way. It's about controlling the first 15 minutes of the first half. Get your foot on the ball, control the ball, pass it around so they know that you're there. But it, it just never really seemed to, to happen for us. Yes, we got the corner and we scored a goal and it's like, all right, cool, this is the moment. We've got momentum now. Let's build on it. But we got the goal and then it was Arsenal again. So um, we just didn't really control it. And I am seeing, which is unfortunate, I'm seeing tiredness creep in from the 60 minute mark. And then that goes to strength and depth, which we was all talking about. Um, not having the strength and depth of, um, players and characters to come in and support the team and that's problematic but the way I say it, we've got a bench if you've got a bench you've got players clearly good enough to be on the bench use them why not and see what happens obviously Rashford got a goal Martinez got his first goal mm. for Manchester United which I think is, is it'll be disappointed for him that we didn't get the three points we we conceded a last minute goal against Palace midweek mm. we conceded a last minute goal today against Arsenal what do you think Eric Ten Hag should have done in the last 10, 15, 20 minutes when it was still 2-2? Bring on Garnacho. Like, me as a defender, you know, if I've got somebody who's on the pitch and they've got pace, I'm worried, I'm on my back foot. I know I can't step forward so much because if they do a ball over the top, boom, it's a problem. We didn't do any of that. They're still playing against a six foot six striker who's slow. So they're thinking, all right, cool, sleep and them. I'm thinking, yeah, we can push up and they're not worried about what's coming behind them. We sort of just gave them something to think about in which we didn't. And we just invite that pressure. And also Malassia, you saw Saka constantly like troubling our left back, Luke Shaw. Um, and that was always going to be a good battle. But um, bring on another left back, you know, support Shaw. He didn't have much support on that um, in that position dealing with... Um, Saka and then also Tomiyasu who would also overlap. So just bringing on some fresh energy, people that are going to fight and, you know, try and help us get up the pitch. Obviously, midweek, we saw Casemiro get, get a yellow card. How, how big do you think his absence was today with McTominay starting in, in that position? Do you know what? McTominay did not do bad at all. He actually made some very good interceptions and um, some very vital clearances, which could have led to something more serious. Um, so well done, McTominay. But... Having Casemiro, again, one, his presence is just a problem. And two, you know, him being on the pitch, his presence and his like distribution, that it, again, it puts us on the back foot knowing that, oh, he can make that pass or, you know, he's going to be in the right position. So maybe we can't run through them or so on and so forth. If we had him, probably would have had a bit more leadership on the pitch, which would have been um, ideal. But to be honest, 3-2, it was a close game. The disc in the last minute. McTominay, we can't put the blame on him. Um, he played very well, but... Casemiro is always going to be a big loss. Always going to be a big loss because he's one of our most important players. Talk to me about Anthony. Quite a lot of people, I think, had a lot to say about Anthony. What did you make of his performance? Uh, Anthony's a character. He reminds me of me. You know, he's, he's, flash, he's flashy and he's got the skills and it's cool. But listen, if you're not being efficient, if you're not doing what we want you to do, then all those extra things are just void. Um, it was a moment when he's run down the wing, get across in the box. Instead, he's doing his predictable, cutting on his left foot. And, and the shot was just pony. The shot was so doo-doo, brother. It's like, listen, get across in the box and give him something to think about. Um, he'd done well at times in terms of getting stuck in. I think he'd done well, quite well defensively as well. But he had some passes that were short and... I don't know, just I'm not getting enough for the price tag as well. We're not getting enough, man. I want more from him. Like, you saw what Rashford done, took his man on, nutmegs them, parted that player, and then scored a banging goal. Why? I want to see more from Anthony. He needs to do more, but uh, um, it might come, it might come, it, it might come, it might not. It's just one of them ones with him. Last question, do you think the title race is, is over? Was Man United even ever in a title race? 
listen, there's what, 18 games to go? That's a lot of games. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. But of course, we needed this um we needed this win to, of course, give us more belief and to be closer to Arsenal because they got a game in hand. It looks like they could get away, but then they've got to play City twice. Anything can happen. We're going to focus game by the game. That's your motto. I like it. And who knows, man, because we are building a team and it's Ten Hag's first season and we're sitting in top four comfortably. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. On to the next.